Right, so if you're anything like me and you have a lot of USB devices and you're constantly unplugging stuff so you can plug something else in, especially when I'm doing my live streaming, I try and plug things and plug something else in so that I can do my live streaming. If you're like me and you have too many devices and you're constantly unplugging them and you just like to leave them in there and use them when you need them, you might want to invest in one of these little babies here. I already have one, and my one that I have in there at the moment will do four USBs. And it works pretty well, I have no issues with it. But this one can do up to seven USB devices. It has five in the front, as you can see there, and two in the rear, or, or like internal ones that you can connect. So you could actually plug in a memory stick and leave it inside if you wanted to. So uh cost me about £27, and I'll stick a link in the video description in case you want to buy one. And it's powered as well. With my other one, it just plugs in, and that's it. With this little baby here, it comes with a power lead. And you have two types of power lead. It comes with a Molex or a SATA connection, so you can choose which connection you want to use to power up. So with that, shall we do the unboxing? Or the unbagging, I should say. Just tear the baby open. Let's have a look to see what you get for your money. So this is from Innertech. Well, actually, from Amazon, but they're the people who manufacture it, obviously. Uh, Innertech says operating in environment tells you all about the environment on the back. Nothing much to see on the front, just the name of the company, and on the side, it's just the name of the company. So it doesn't really tell you a lot, but it has a nice picture on the back. Perhaps I should have put the picture on the front, you know? Or is that the front? I have no idea. But there you go. So I need to get a knife. I haven't got a knife. With me knife. Do I need a knife? Yeah, we need a knife. Right, so I've got a knife. Let's get her out. Oh, I forgot to tell you as well, it's uh, USB 3. In case you're wondering. Or 3.0 to be exact. And hopefully it'll work just fine. I can't see why it shouldn't work. But like I say, I have too many devices and not enough slots or not enough USB devices. I didn't want to get an external plug-in thing because I prefer it all nice and tidy. Uh, best way to undo this. Mm-hmm. There you go for it. Oh, there you go, look. Da, da, da. So let's see. So you, you know, you're going to get, uh, here's your con uh, connections. And... Cut the screws. You're also going to get this device itself. We'll have a look at it in a second. Uh, some instructions. Instruction manual. It feels like a quite a thick instruction manual, actually. Uh, it's in different languages. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what else do you get? You get a CD. Uh, I wouldn't imagine. It says drivers. So, installation drivers, yeah. So, you get a CD. I haven't got a CD player. Uh, I've got an external one, so I'll have to plug that in if I need it. So let's have a look at the connections first. Let's do the boring stuff. Whoops. So you get a Molex connection for powering up and two SATA connections. Da, da, da. And you get a SATA connection with two SATA connections. So that's obviously one's a female and the other's a, a, a male. Or they're female, that's a male. That's that, and the device itself. Let's have a look. So, like I said, you get five along the front, yeah, and two USB in the back. So, it's all uh, USB 3.0, and I think it looks quite nice. It actually said says 3.2 actually that feels like a really nice material on the front as well it's sort of soft and smooth uh qc passed yes. uh, so you plug your satter into there so that's easy enough looks like it's good mate inner tech so it's actually the manufacturer who's actually selling it they're the people i think i bought it from <laughs> on amazon uh 27 pound so yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it out. So, uh, do you want to have a close-up? Yeah, I'll do you a close-up. Right, so that's everything you get for your pennies, as you can see. CD. CD! Manual. And yeah, looks very nice. Quite smooth, that bit there. 
I like that. It looks very professional. Would help fade it up the right way. Yeah, it's like um, I don't know. It's like a rubbery type material, soft and smooth, just like me, really. So yeah, look, I'm going to have a quick read of the instructions because I know it's, you know you just plug it in, but sometimes it pays you just to read the instructions. It looks like a well-built uh, product. In a tech. So yeah, looking forward to it. Right, so she's all installed, up and running, but before I do all the positives, let's talk about the negatives. I tried using this lead and it wouldn't work, so the satters, for me, for whatever reason, whether it's because there's not enough power, but my computer wouldn't start up. Uh, luckily, they, it comes with a Molex version. I plugged the Molex version in and it worked straight away. So I'm not sure why, but for whatever reason, even though I put in a separate power connection on the uh, PSU, it still wouldn't work. So I'm not sure why. And if there's anyone out there who knows why, you can tell me or put it in the comments below. So yeah, for, for whatever reason, it wouldn't do that. So at the moment, I'm using their Molex, their Molex to Saturn. I will change that out or I will shield it so it's nice and black because it stands out like a bit of a sore thumb at the moment. So I will be changing that lead at, uh, very soon, probably later on today I'll change it. So yeah, it's all running, I uh, updated the drivers, I used the CD, uh, wasn't sure which ones to do, obviously I've got the 7, so I've got 5 in the front, 2 in the back, I've got 4 USBs plugged in at the moment, I've got a little dongle that I leave plugged in all the time. That's going to go inside the computer and that'd be plugged on on the inside. So that'd be five connections already. And that'd be in there permanently. So I'll have none shown on the outside. But this is for my video editing. When I do my video editing, I need this plugged in as it won't let me do my editing. The booklet's in two languages. I thought it was multi-languages, but it's only in two. It looks like it's in English and German. And it's very good actually. I was quite impressed at the instruction manual, the way they've laid it out. Not only do they tell you how to install it, which I know how to do anyway, but they also got a troubleshooter. And the troubleshooter, I was quite impressed with that actually. I mean, it t tells you exactly what I had. You know, if your computer doesn't start up, the chances are it's a bad connection on your um, PCIe connection. Try a different one. Well, I tried different ones and it still wouldn't work. So I thought, well, it's got to be something else. So I swapped the leads out and yeah, it was the lead. So for whatever reason, like I said earlier, the SATA is not working for me. It might work for you. And if it does, let us know in the comments, like I said. So yeah, like, it's up and running anyway. Windows detected it straight away. I don't even think I needed to install the uh, drivers, but I've done it just as a precaution. And they all went in fine. So yeah, very happy. Um, and I will do another video in a, probably a couple of months just to let you know how I'm getting on with it. But at the moment, I'm very impressed. It's running. It looks nice. I was going to put it in the top slot above my graphics card, but then I'd have to rearrange all the leads or the cabling, hide it a bit better. And that would have took me a hell of a lot more time. It would have meant I would have had to take the graphics card out and then run all the wires more carefully. Whereas I've put it in the end i put it back where the other one was and uh yeah good very pleased so yeah quite impressed for in the take i think they've done a lovely lovely job 27 pound i think it's a reasonable price for something like that and so it definitely gets my thumbs up i'm quite happy with it i think it's well worth paying that kind of money it's 26.99 and i'll stick a link in the description in case you decide you want to buy one so uh with that 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Breakers. Breakers. 